In this video, we're gonna get a bit more used to seeing the vertex as either the maximum point or the minimum point of a quadratic equation. And along the way, we'll use some of our knowledge of completing the squares to find our solution. So how do we know if a parabola is opening upwards or downwards? Well, in these different forms of equations, the A will tell us the direction of the graph. If A is positive, then the graph is opening up. And as you can see, there is a minimum point where the graph never goes lower than that point. And of course, that point is called the vertex. And the vertex also happens to be in the dead middle of the parabola, separating the symmetry of the graph. If A is negative, however, then we know that the parabola is opening downwards and that there will be a maximum point. So what is a real life example of a situation where we might encounter a maximum point? Take, for example, a situation where you throw a baseball towards your friend. Unless your objective is to chuck that ball straight at your friend, I'm sure your throw will result in a parabola-like motion towards your friend, where the ball escalates while going forward and then drops after a little while. What if I said to you that this graph can be represented as y equals negative 1 over 4x squared plus 3x plus 5, where x represents the number of seconds that passed by, and y represents the height of the ball in motion, measured in feet. So, if there were to be a question that asked us to find the highest point of the ball and the amount of time that passed to get there, how would you go about doing this? Well, let's say that you and your friend both throw and catch the ball at exactly 5 feet. Okay, so when the ball hasn't been thrown yet, the ball is sitting at this height. And this is represented by the formula as well, since if we substitute 0 into x, which represents time, then we'd get y, which represents height, equaling to 5. So let's plot this onto the grid now that we have a good visualization of the example. Great! Now, how would we find the hmm. highest point of this graph? Well, that's easy. We just need to find the vertex. And how do we find the vertex? Well, we've got ourselves the standard form. And all we have to do from this point is to find the vertex form through completing the squares. All right, so let's try it. First, we realize that our A is not equal to 1. So we start by factoring out negative 1 over 4 from the equation. If we factor correctly, then we should end up with this. We know that we can take this number here that's being multiplied by the x and then simply divide it by 2 to get negative 6 and then square it to get 36, which is the number that we use to add and subtract from the equation to set ourselves up for the perfect square trinomial. So we add this 36 and subtract it, all within the brackets. Then we factor this part to get x minus 6 squared. And if we simplify this part, we get minus 56. Of course, we're not done yet. We have to distribute the multiplication of our a to both these parts. So we do so, and we get our answer here after we simplify. So great, our vertex here is h and k in the equation, which is 6 and 14. So, the coordinates of the highest point of this parabola is 6, 14. This means that the highest point of the ball is at 14 feet, and it occurs after 6 seconds has gone by. Awesome! So you can see immediately how useful the vertex form can be. And for that matter, how useful our knowledge of completing the squares can be. A similar question might ask you for the minimum point. But in reality, you'd be doing the exact same steps to arrive upon your answer as we did with the maximum point. We'd 
look to take our standard form into the vertex form properly and then get a correct answer. The only thing we'd expect to see different is that we'd expect to see a positive A. Well, that's it for this video and we hope to see you guys in the next lesson.